leaving El Mercado for the cobblestone streets of Antigua, traces of Maya history are found everywhere. Turn the right corner, and rich aromas will draw you to a storefront lined with ceramic pots of thick rustic stews. Just the heart and soul this is the Guatemala of Guatemala cooking. Here. Welcome to La Cuevita de los Urquizu, the cave of the Urquizu family. She's the owner and she's the queen. Ophira de Urquizu opened her doors 20 years ago to fill an unusual void in Antigua's food scene, a family restaurant offering homemade, authentic Maya cuisine. This is a dish that only comes from Antigua, Guatemala, uh -huh. and it's called chirmol zapatero. Mm -hmm. Sausage, potato, and pacaya soup. Suban ik, and it was the, the dish of the kings. Chicken, beef, and pork, and tomato and chili sauce. This is lamb. Is it lamb? She only knows the recipe. How, what's in it? <laughs> ¿Qué tiene? ¿Eh? ¿Qué tiene? Todo lo que es del... <laughs> oh, she won't say. <laughs> she won't say, I'm sorry. She won't say at all. It's a recipe Ophira will pass down to her daughters when they inherit the restaurant, just as her Maya ancestors imparted their culinary traditions to the next generation. Like revolcado, a Guatemalan stew made with several types of offal. The classic. The classic revolcado. It has all the, the, the head of the pork. Yep. All of it. And all a couple other organs that I noticed too. Lungs, liver, trachea, tongue, spleen, heart, kidneys, the head, minus the eyes, halved and singed to remove any stray hair, all cooked with chilies, tomatoes, and herbs. Is it possible to take a little bit of yeah, several that, things? That's... And I need to try the revocado. Yes, let's get some of those. This is platanos and mole. It's plantain made with a sauce with chocolate and tomatoes. I got to try that. I, I mean, I, you know. Gracias. All right. Do you think we have enough? 